Hello guys, welcome back. So today in this video, we are going to understand one very important scenario that is what is pass by value and pass by reference. So generally like very rarely we get to use pass by reference, but it is asked in the interview questions as well. Like what is the difference between pass by value and pass by reference? So let's get to understand this. So here I have created a parent process model that is nothing just initialize a value is there in which I am going to save a particular value. So here you can see I have initialized a variable num with 100 value here. That's it. And after that I have created a sub process that is a child process and in that child process what I have done here is I have updated that particular value. So whatever 100 is coming into the child process I am actually updating that value with 10 here. So it has now become 1110. So like this it will work. And after that we will try to debug our process. Okay let's try to debug the process and let's see that how it works. So here you can see the process model is started okay the value got updated to 100 here that's fine and in the child process if we go and click on the sub process here the value got updated so what is the value here finally the value is 110 so this is the usual scenario that generally happens so what exactly is a pass by reference so if you go in the sub process and go to the setup tab here you can see one input variable is there that is parameterized num and here you are passing the value here you are passing by value and this is a pass as a reference what will happen if i click on pass by reference then so let's just click on pass by reference one click on ok and publish this process model when i publish this process model again let me just try to debug it when we have debugged this then let's see in the child process what is the value so the value is here 110 and in the parent process what is the value here also the value is 110 so this actually is the pass by reference what what actually has happened here so initially in the parent process the value was 100 and in the child process the value was 110 but when we pass by reference then in the parent as well the value becomes 110 so whatever the value in the child process was there actually we are able to capture that value in the parent process as well so that's why how the pass by reference works okay but somebody can say that that's fine why we need pass by reference I can also go in this sub process and instead of pass by reference I can uncheck it and I can take an output here go to num and click on num here that's it and publish this process model when I publish this again if I debug this process model here again I will check I will see 110 value what extra thing um, the pass by reference has done here because I am able to get with the usual flow as well so in order to understand this let's consider a scenario let's say that in the child process a lot of things are processing and I want that as soon as certain process gets completed then the flow in the parent workflow should get started I don't want the, the in the child process that everything should get executed then only my parent flow will get started so something like this I want it here for example I will show you uh, let's take a rule event here okay and in the rule event I am going to uh, create an expression here and make it false so here I have make it false so now I have published this particular process model now if I debug the parent process see here will you get 110 in this parent process no you won't get because the sub process is still active here so we won't be able to get that particular value in our parent process so this problem is resolved with the help of a pass by reference so how it will help here so I have already published a version let me show you that particular version here once so this is one of the models that I have built in order to understand the pass by reference so what I have done here is we already had pass by uh, we already had initialized value so if you see here initialized value is their child process in that what I have added here is I added a dummy script task here so when the flow will go to the dummy it will come here as well and it will go there as well and the child process the value will get updated to 110 but it will not get completed because I am stopping the flow with the help of a rule event here so you can see here one rule event is 
mapped here. Now here I am just trying to wait for a minute because I know that see this sub process initially the value is going to 100 only later on automatically process doesn't trigger the second time so that it will check for the value so I am just waiting for a minute here and then I am checking whether the value has been updated to greater than 100 or not if yes then it will go to the first flow if no then it will go to the second flow once I will show you without a timer event okay so let me just publish it and check it here so if you check that here see the value in the child process is still active but we are already getting the value updated here that is 110 that is what reference pass by reference means even if the sub process is not complete it will update the value in the parent process as soon as it completes the execution and here I am getting like a value is not greater than 100 that's why we have added a wait timer here so what I will do here is let me just so I've added a delay of a minute here okay and publish this process model now let me just debug the process model once again so once I have debugged the process the child process here you can see it is still active and we have to wait for a minute in order to get the latest value and then we can execute the flow based on the latest updated value here so let me show you after one minute what happens now one minute has been passed and see here here you can see the timer is there executed and the value is already 110 so it's not that we have to wait minute uh, we have to wait for a minute only there can be other way to add timer just add two three more dummy tasks here so that i just want enough time for the variable to get updated okay for the safety purpose i have just taken a minute here okay and if the value is greater than 100 then it is taking the first flow Okay, even if the sub process is not completed. So that is the advantage of pass by reference here. So this is not a very common use case. It is a rarely used only. So I hope that once asked in the interview, you will be able to explain this scenario in a much better way. So that was all for now. Thank you.